and another review for you. Um, if you saw my video a couple of days ago, you'll notice that I'm wearing exactly the same clothes and um, I'm sitting in exactly the same spot. And there's a damn good reason for that is because I took that awful thing out of my mouth and I'm going to put something good in there. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you a nice classic but uh, affordable Jotterberg's Repair XR Slim White Portion. Okay, uh, there we go. Just get the light off the off the label. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put one of these pouches in because I can't wait to get the taste of White Fox out of my mouth. Um, they're uh, slim white portion uh, pouches. Um, so they, they only need a little bit of fluff in there. I find with these, they tend to be quite full uh, and fairly plumped in the in the in the can already. So they don't really need a lot of admin. Um, but let's get this in. And uh, oh, white fox. They might as well go in the bin. Actually, don't you touch those. Talking to the dog. So, uh, first of all, let's have a look at the can. Um, really nice design. Uh, just the, the classic blue and gold. It works really well. Um, this is the, the XR range is the budget range, um, so it's uh, appealing snooze for the masses at an affordable price point, um, which um, pretty much sums this snooze up, quite frankly. But yeah, it's it's a simple can design, um, long lasting, uh, slim white, minimal drip. Um, it's that last little bit there that disappoints me most about these snoozers because I like the drip. I like to taste the snooze and I like it to run across my tongue and down the back of my throat. Um, so uh, I'm talking about the drip there, by the way. All right. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's a simple catch design. It's a standard uh, Swedish match can. So you get a full size catch lid. Uh, not that I really use the catch lids very often. Um, and uh, inside, you've got your slim white portions, okay? So, um, if you're familiar with Gjotterborg's Repair already and you've not tried this particular variant, then I assure you it is gonna taste very, very similar and it's gonna be a taste you know and love, all right? So let's have a catch with the smell. So you get a lot of, I find you get more herbal notes on this than you do with the original portion. Um, I, I still prefer the large original portion. Um, it's my favorite Gjotterborg's Repair range. Um, but the reason I got this is because it is incredibly good value for money. It's significantly cheaper than the large original portions. You get a little bit of lavender, I think, in there, and some juniper. I think there's a little, maybe a little bit of citrus there, but I think the, the overpowering smell is floral and lavender, really. Um, so it, smell, it smells different. It has a different um, uh, aroma profile to it than the original does. Um, but the, the nicotine content is, uh, I believe it's about, about, I could be wrong on this one, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's around about the eight milligrams per portion. It might be seven actually. Um, when you get down at that range, it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, I'm happy to use this uh, throughout the day because uh, as an all day snooze, it's, it's got enough nicotine in it to keep me going. I'm working throughout the day, most of the days anyway. So it's just nice to have one there for comfort more than anything and for the flavor. Um, now, obviously, it's not developed enough yet. Um, it is a white portion, so it does take a bit longer to develop, and um, it's a little bit drier. I'm not a big fan of white portions. If you see my other videos, then you will understand why. But I like, just if you've not seen one of my videos before, the reason I prefer original portions is because they're more moist, and you get a faster flavor release, and a faster nicotine release as well. It's not the nicotine release that I'm so bothered about, it's more about the flavor. And whenever I put a white portion in, it just feels, I don't know, a little bit like a dry cotton bud underneath my, my lip. And I feel like I have to attack it with saliva to get it, to get it moist. Um, you don't need to do that, it's just a kind of subconscious thing that I have to do. Unless it's wet under my lip, then I don't feel, feel comfortable with it. And it kind of feels a little bit like it's pulling my, um, if you were to put like a piece of cotton wool between your um, lip and gum, until that bit of cotton wool gets wet, it's gonna feel like it's sticking. And that's how I feel with white portions, uh, especially with white dries as well. Although I haven't said that, there's some white dries that actually I don't get that problem with at all. But, but, but typically, yeah, that's why I prefer an original portion. Um, I'm gonna attack this portion a little bit just to release some of the flavor. Now these these portions drink your spit. Um, 
So, okay, we've got a little bit of moisture in there now. Um, I'm just gonna have a, a sip of my generic wife beater, um, or Stella Artois. So, Now they do get, um, you do get a little bit of salt, okay. Um, since I've been back on tobacco snooze, um, it's like I noticed the salt less and less and less. Um, but I still think there's more of a salt presence in the original portions than in these. Um, citrus is the next thing uh, that I get. It's got a quite, quite a broad citrus um, kind of spectrum of citrus uh, on the tongue. Um, but predominantly it's bergamot. Um, I always think that these taste very, very similar to general original. Um, but then when you swallow, there is a pepper, pepperiness on the back of the tongue. Um, I know over time, as the, the citrus starts to die off, I start to notice more juniper in there. So they go very, very well, like, like a lot of the other Gothenburgs with Pier range. They go very well with the gin and tonic. Um, but with these, the flavour profile on them, all right, the nicotine, it's not going to kick you in the head. Um, eventually, once, once it's been in for about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, I know that I've got some nicotine in there, but I have to pay attention to it to know. All I know is that the pouch is there and the flavour's there, and that's enough for me because I know that the nicotine is there and I don't feel like I'm craving more nicotine. And ultimately, that's the point of the snooze in the first place. Um, I don't actually think this is a very good morning snooze. Um, I don't mind, I wouldn't mind having the original uh, large portion in uh, in the morning with a coffee or a cup of tea. But um, I, I don't like this one so much in the mornings. But I do like it in the day and uh, in the evenings, especially if I've got a gin and tonic. I've not got any gin in at the moment, so I'm just on beer. Um, but this this can was open and I needed to get a review done. Um, so uh, because once this is once this one's gone, I'm not going to open any gutter bulbs up here for a while. The rest of my repair um, is in the not in the next batch of stuff I'm going to take out the freezer, but the batch after that. Um, and I've already done quite a lot of gutter bulbs repair reviews recently. Um, I don't know. I think just because I hadn't had repair before, uh, I thought oh, I'm going to go crazy on it. I'm going to love this. Um, but uh, I'm ready to give repair a break for a bit. Um, certainly if I had more of the original portions, then I'd probably keep those regularly in the rotation, at least have a can there so that I can grab one as and when I want. Um, and for me, I know a lot of people say that they don't, they don't put their snooze back in the fridge when they've, um, uh, once they've opened it. I do, I leave it in the fridge um, all the time because well, for the last eight months, I've been working from home. So apart from when I take a can up to the bedroom with me and leave it on the, on the bedside table it stays in the fridge and you know I've had I'll be honest I've got like six seven eight cans open at a time and that's why that's why I kind of got a little bit desperate and I needed to do some reviews because I'd opened that many before I got to this point um, to review them it's taken me ages to kind of get through them again um, so uh, so yeah so that's a bit of a struggle but back onto this um, I do really like it um, it's, it's not a kind of thing that I will do quite regularly, but I will happily use this until the, until the can goes down. Um, so for me, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, okay, uh, which is a good score. Um, it's certainly not all there with my favourites and some of the things that I'd rather use all day, every day. Uh, it's going to get to the point where I run out of things that, to, to review, but um, at the moment I'm going through... I think there's about, there were about 50 or 60 different varieties of things that I needed to try in order to determine exactly what my rotation was going to be. So uh, I am glad that I tried this and who knows, I possibly will order some more in the future. But in this portion, this size portion I think would be good for me if I were to um, be on the road like I would normally, um, visiting customers. I would probably stick to general. If I was gonna go for the XR range, I'd stick to the general rather than this, because it's not an all day, every day portion for me. It's a bit more of a special occasion snooze or, or one or two a day, and possibly in the evening. Um, but, you know, some people, as I've seen on Reddit um, and watching other people's video reviews, they love the stuff and it's there all day, every day. Everybody's different and everybody has different tastes. Um, so, um, a couple of things that I'm gonna be doing. Um, uh, I've got a few more snooze to review uh, and get uh, edited, and I'll get those up soon. And um, I, 
<laughs> today I did something quite strange. I ordered four cigars, um, three Cuban and one Dominican Republic, because I've not had a cigar for 19 years, and uh, I just fancy something a bit different. So uh, um, if you want to see any of those, then uh, please let me know. Let me know in the comments, and I'll, I'll post up a video about them. But uh, I'm still going to be snoozing. That will be my all-day, everyday kind of regular stable um, and there will be some more reviews coming soon so please leave a comment in the section down below down there as if you didn't know where it was and uh, please like my channel and uh, or like the video and subscribe um, and uh, hopefully I will be seeing you on the very next review take care bye bye